I'm a bit of a tired boy this evening, so I'm going to make this one quick. The main message for this video is if you have a local public library, then don't be shy to use it because I went to my local library today and it's in a it's in a small town. I would say it is uh, once was a village, but it's probably graduated to like a small town now. Anyway, um, it's a town that I grew up in. I spent most of my childhood here. And I went to the library to get books for my little son, my seven month old son, seven and a half month old son. And uh, we've been getting books there for the past sort of month or so. And we've got some really good ones for him. Now, but I always thought like, I'm not going to find any books that I like there. But I thought today, had had a look and I managed to pick up, first off, I picked up this. Uh, this is Habibi by Craig Thompson. I'm reading that in reverse on the um, on my monitor on my on my phone. Oh, I haven't graduated to the camera today, by the way. I never got around to to setting it up on that. I said it was going to be dead easy, but maybe not so easy. I'll try to do that for tomorrow. Um, and I'd wanted to read Habibi. Uh, well, I, I'd seen it on Amazon. I've been into graphic novels lately, and that was one of the ones that came up as having good reviews. I don't really know anything that it's about. Habibi, I think, means uh, baby in Arabic, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I think because I remember them saying it repeatedly in the Netflix series, Mo, which is good, by the way. It's decent. It's like a solid 8 out of 10 comedy series. And then the other book that I got, and this is the real win, is uh, a psalm for the wild bin. Bill, <laughs> a psalm. Because I film these in the evening, there's always like a, a couple of words that I just mess up, but it's quite fun. A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. And the reason I'm so excited to pick this up is because uh, I think it won some awards for being for, uh, in the sci-fi category. Not this year, but maybe last year. 2022, I think it was. And I really wanted to pick it up. And I think the new one has either just come out or it's on its way out. Really wanted to get this first one so that I could start reading the series, but I couldn't find this original book anywhere. And wherever I could find it, it was like dead overpriced. It was like 30 quid. I think there isn't a paperback yet of the first book. Um, and so the hardback must have been printed in relatively short supply, at least in the UK. And so it was really hard, really hard to, to find it. Um, and so yeah, absolutely chuffed because it's it's in, in crack and nick as well. It's like looks like it's not really been read by anyone. Just amazing for my library to have it. It's just odd, but then you know there are readers everywhere. Yeah, use your public library if you are a reader. I think now you can get Kindle books from the public library as well. Uh, don't know how it works, but I'm soon to find out because I'm getting a a Kindle for the first time since the very first Kindle that came out, which I got when I was younger, um, which. I didn't really use so hopefully I can make more use of this one um and yeah that's that that's it for today like go check your library out man because the, there is possibly value to be found there I think you can request books as well but then if if the whole kindle thing kindle uh, like ebook thing is part of your library then surely you can get access to pretty much any book that you want to so that's it and then I guess one thing that I can tag on to the end here Something that I, uh, I'd say I've been thinking about it today, but I haven't necessarily. I briefly have asked myself the question or kind of said to myself, you need to seek answers to this question. And the question is, how do people keep performing? It's, it's not necessarily the right word. It doesn't really cover all cases of this, but how do people keep performing when in their work life or say in their creative life or whatever their 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 non-personal life when things in their personal life are shit so how do people keep performing when their personal life isn't great and the reason i want to ask this question is because i really struggle if i if something isn't right with my personal life and that means like family issues maybe one of my family members is a bit ill or something uh, maybe I'm not getting on with someone in my life and, and therefore, you know, I'm feeling slightly out of whack or maybe I've just had a little argument with my girlfriend or something, I don't know, or an argument with my one of my parents. I I just, I'm so, so affected by it 
I'm so affected by it and I find it really hard to switch off from that, detach and then create something. It's just my head is just it's not there. And and maybe actually that's not a bad thing. Maybe maybe when things are bad you do need to not Maybe that's the thing that you need to focus on. But I, I don't think that's the case. I think that people have to keep going, right? Unfortunately, that is the way of the world. And let's say if every time something bad happens in my personal life, if I stop making videos for a few days, and believe me, that's what's happened before. Uh, that's happened to me with various video series from the past. Then you're going you're gonna to get stuck and you're, you're going to lose momentum every time one of life's events and good events could probably do this to you as well but every time one of life's events get in the way and I just I would love to know how the people that do keep going keep going how the footballers who have you know lost a lost a family member lost a parent within the past month how they keep playing how they keep going without it affecting them imagine being a cricket player and having a really big argument with your wife and then, then you don't make up and then the next day you've got your match that would sit on my head, and maybe that's why they're individuals that succeed under high pressure. I and thus far, I am not. Maybe I don't know, but I would love. To, I think there's probably a bit of a secret. I don't think it's just that only certain people can do it. And I'm an overly sensitive person. I am someone who is heavily affected um, by um, how my emotions kind of have a strong hold over me in a lot of ways um but i think learning to detach is possible if you are similar to me in that regard it's just i need to look up how to do it so this is kind of an open-ended one it's, it's just a question there because i'm sure once i get a bit more of a viewership on these videos there'll be people that can interact with me in the comments and maybe have the answers to those things or can open up a conversation with me and we can seek and find the answers together that would be cool too but yeah right I'm leaving it because I actually want to go and read these books tonight. And obviously I've still got to post this and get it up and that. I want to read and do my famous stretches. But yeah, Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the day, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in your life. Cool. Catch you later. Bye bye.